Hi, everybody. It is January 18, 2019. Primary focus of this video is going to be my reading um, the some of the comments underneath the video that I posted last night, asking those if they wanted to meet up with like-minded people in their area to leave a comment below of where they live. I'm going to explain that um, things are really messed up. Interesting is that uh, some of these comments are really screwed up. One of the reasons why I am doing this video, but also I am doing this video because I do not get responses to the responses that I leave. I'm not getting, I, I get Twitter notifications. I don't even go on Twitter, but I don't get any notifications now. I usually would get, well, we always got notifications when we posted a video and of every comment and every response. Now, well, for the past year, really, all I've gotten is when I've posted a video, I will get one notification of one comment per video. That's it. And sometimes I would see a response, a notification in my email, uh, a response, but the majority of comments and responses, nothing. I get nothing. So it's very hard to, um, you know, you have to check the video, you've got to check all of the comments, and you know, you forget which comment that you responded to. So it just creates mess when the communication is not clear and you're not getting these notifications. But I've seen now underneath that video that I posted last night, a lot of you um, have been leaving where you are living, getting responses that you may not even see. That's the problem. We now are living with so much communication that has just gone bonkers. But in the cyber world, communication has really gone bonkers. And I want to make sure that you guys are seeing what is underneath my video that I'm seeing because, yeah, you may go and see something different on your computers. Um, so, and I also just wanted to say that um, what I thought of in terms of providing email addresses you may not want to provide it underneath my video for so many people to see, but what you can do is click on the name, go to their channel, and leave them a message underneath the last video that they posted. If you don't have any videos posted on your channel, then you can just download free YouTube downloader and download any video. Uh, you can download this video and post it on your channel and that way you can get people leaving comments because a lot of people don't post videos and because YouTube got rid of the private messaging um, there's no way to reach anybody and don't think that all of these tactics are not deliberate this is deliberate to screw up, you know, the you know, the chance of even organizing and, and uh, connecting with one another. But before I do, I just want to show you, this was this morning. Now, it was a white sky with a tad of blue showing like a hole, but about an hour or two hours before this, I woke up and yes, it was just wet. It was wet and gray 
And I thought, Jesus, no, I can't do another day. Look at this tree. Look at this tree. Yeah, the frequencies, all of the toxic chemicals and heavy metals are destroying it all. All of life. Can't stand it. But I was very grateful to uh, see this. Yeah, a little bit of sun. Thank God. Well, yeah, this computer. Man, oh man, oh man. Come on. So it was beginning to brighten up. Oh my God, there it is. Oh, I don't care if it's real or not, simulated or not. I could actually feel the warmth on my arm. But guess what? It's sunny now. Okay. I also want, oh, yeah, I included, because a lot of you were asking about the cats, and some of these cats were really super, super thin, and none of them are thin anymore. Um, these are the two that have decided my apartment is their home, along with another um, cat, black and white, who is just the coolest. But when I post the video on the cats, I'll, uh, I'll talk about that. Yeah, you know, looking at them, that they're healthy and not starving. Yeah, they're, a lot of them are coughing and sneezing, but they're happy. You know, I love seeing animals that are happy. You know, it, well, forget about it. I, I also want to bring your attention to this video and this channel, Protecting Yourself Against Frequencies and Nano Herbs Plus Bead Works. I will post below the links, um, but post... Um, Mm -mm -mm. Herbs Plus Bead Works has a lot of information on ways that you can protect yourself from the frequencies, from the chemtrails, from the nanotechnology that now we are eating. Uh, chemtrails, nanoparticles, smart dust, um, power of copper, grounding yourself. But please, the grounding yourself, uh, walking barefoot, very important that you're not walking around a Gwen Tower and not within close proximity because that is how I think I became really sensitive to the frequencies. I did that barefoot. I would come home. My legs would be swollen. I'd have burns on my feet. I did the research. I found, uh, I didn't even know at that point what a Gwen Tower was, but I came upon a military funded uh, study on the biological effects of Gwen Towers and yes let me once again show you because people are very confused about what a Gwen Tower is this is a Gwen Tower different from a cell tower you know the cell towers right most of them are um, not as high as these Gwen Towers are but the cell towers um, have the panels on it. Um, they are emitting microwave radiation that pulsates and is very dangerous. These Gwen Towers, they have wires going down to the ground, uh, copper wires, and they emit very dangerous, extremely low frequencies through the ground or into the atmosphere. But I'm seeing people say, you know, I have 63 Gwen Towers in my area. No, you don't. You don't. Uh, you could very well have 63 cell phone towers, not Gwen Towers. So, when you are out and about, you'll see towers with, they could have uh, two, three, four tiered levels of all these panels, white panels and drums that look like drums or speakers. Um, those are the cell phone towers. If you see these very high towers 
and they could have the panels and the drums and all that on them but if they have wires going into the ground in a complete you know circle a radius uh, 360 radius around the tower itself that is a Gwen Tower okay so um, magnets uh, I don't even want to um, go into the ways that from reading comments I see that people are getting help with organ um, I don't know why I always say cupcakes but these uh, organ Uh, pieces that you can put up around your house. The reason why I don't promote any of the clothing, the, the caps with, I guess, some shielding uh, inside the hats and the baseball caps and um, the pendants and all of that kind of stuff is because I have not come across any research that tells me that it works and while I see the comments and people are saying get this it works it may work for you and it may very well be a placebo effect so what works for one person may not work for another person um, and a lot of the products are very expensive and based on my research and hearing from a lot of people I know that there are a lot of websites out there promoting products to keep you safe from these radio frequencies and unfortunately because so many people are suffering these people are making a whole lot of money but it's not you know, a definite thing that it's going to help you. And you know, having listened to Barry Trower, uh, he doesn't know of anything that can shield against, but he also stated that he hasn't done the research. Um, so there are now 5G millimeter waves. I haven't done the research on protection from the 5G. So unfortunately we've got a lot of assaults happening and uh, you know the best the best the most critical thing that you need to do first step reduce your exposure reduce your exposure you know, we could have somebody who is wearing the shielding clothing in an area that is not heavily concentrated with antennas, Gwen Towers, and cell phone towers. And they could be getting relief. Or they might even be thinking that they're getting relief, but it doesn't matter. They're getting relief. Somebody in a really highly populated uh, city with a tremendous amount of cell towers, Gwen Towers, antennas, uh, Wi-Fi, your neighbors have Wi-Fi, um, you're in close proximity, even if you live in a single house, you're living in a, you know, one of those developments, and the homes are really close, the smart meters, the Wi-Fi, all of it is encroaching upon um, your own home, and so if you're living in that kind of area, you may not get relief from that clothing. It might just not work because of the heavy, 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 you know, exposure to so many dangerous frequencies. So you really have to try, you know, all different types of stuff and what works for you, hold on to it. Uh, I've heard that what works for you for like a month may stop working. This is the time that we are living, unfortunately, because the dangers, you know, are so... Um, yeah, they're all over, all over, and we're getting attacked every which way. Reduce your exposure. Get rid of your Wi-Fi. 
get rid of your Wi-Fi. Um, I suggest get rid of your smartphone and your your uh, whatever iPhones and have a flip top phone for emergencies. You don't need to have your phone, you know, up at your ear 24/7. Get a landline if you can. Um, if you're wearing metal, even a belt with a metal bucket, um, a metal um, belt buckle, Jesus, or earrings that are metal, or a chain that is metal, or a bra with the underwire, you are attracting the frequencies right to you. I mean, you're pulling them to you. Don't wear any metal. No metal at all. You know, if you're sleeping on a bed with a metal coil, metal box spring, that's a conductor of the frequencies. It, it is um, pulling the frequencies more intensely into your home, right to that bed where you're trying to sleep. If you're, if you are in a room your bedroom and the smart meter is outside on a wall of that bedroom, sleep somewhere else in the house. If you happen to spend a lot of time in one room in the house and the smart meter is outside on a wall of that room you're spending a lot of time in, spend a lot of time somewhere else if you can't get rid of that smart meter. Now, I also noticed that people left comments saying that the smart meter is um, killing, you know, a lot of the insects. You can get a smart guard if you don't want to um, make one, but you can get aluminum shielding and put it around your smart meter, which will lessen the dangerous pulses that are going outside. But they do have smart guards. I will link below to this video, smartmeterguard.com. And you can purchase one. I don't think they're very expensive, but you can listen to this video or just go to smartmeter smartmeterguard.com and get one um, or find out how much they are. But even if you just put aluminum shielding around that smart meter, and yeah, you do have to, um, you can purchase these at Home Depot or um, Lowe's, just a clasp, a clamp that you can make sure that it's sealed. So yeah, I posted videos on Kafka Winston World. I was up in Maine and lo and behold, even though there was two feet of snow on the ground, all over, the snow, the year that I was there, the winter, I couldn't believe it was like every other day it snowed. And we're not talking just, oh, two inches, four inches. We were talking feet. Now, up on the roof of this house to get the snow off the roof. and uh, But the only place that you could see the ground was right underneath the smart meter. All of the snow, snow melted underneath the smart meter. So you have trees, you've got bushes where your smart meter is. All of what's flying around, you know, the birds and the insects and whatever, they're getting hit with dangerous radio frequencies from your smart meter pulsating out. So you can um, protect them, reduce those pulsating frequencies that are emitted outward, but the smart meter is emitting dangerous pulsating frequencies inward. So buy some aluminum screen and you can, you know, um, double it up or triple it up in just cut out squares and in the internal wall where this smart meter is put up 
squares that are like a that extend one feet or two feet from the smart meter inside the internal wall all around so that the frequencies that are pulsating inward are lessened as well. I want to point out this. I want to thank the subscriber for sending it along to me. What is this? Savannah River Site Nuclear Reservation. This happened on the 17th. And this is Rose, so I will um, link below to this. But the event summary, it was a pollution and other environmental emergency. Um, extraordinary threat to life or property. Severity was extreme. The urgency has passed. Responsive action is no longer required. So the emergency is over, but what the hell happened? I tried to get some information on this. Savannah River, South Carolina, uh, a nuclear power plant had an emergency. Um, so it's... Uh, and when, there, when I see a severity level here, okay, Jackson, state of South Carolina. Look, the nuclear power plants here leak all the time, so I'm not surprised. But if anybody lives in that area, which is, it's also, I think, is it 25 miles uh, away from the Georgia border? You guys in this area... South Carolina, Georgia, around the Savannah River nuclear reservation or nuclear power plant. You might want to see what's going on. And another little bit of information. I will link below to this article. Retired U.S. general warns of China weaponizing cities via a 5G network. Former Trump administration official has painted a terrifying picture of China using mobile networks to call down an apocalypse in the event that Beijing develops its own global 5G network. This is a site that you should check out, but you've got to translate the articles, and the translations are not great. But China must never be allowed to develop a global 5G network, stated U.S. General Robert Spaulding a former Trump administration official who served in the National Security Council last year. Um, according to this Air Force Brigadier, Brigadier General, former Brigadier General, China will introduce mass surveillance and widespread control if it is allowed to dominate 5G networks. Okay, the reason why I'm bringing this to everybody's attention is this is the first military guy that I have seen who's come out and said, hey, you can weaponize 5G. It can be used for surveillance and control. It is the active denial system. Active denial system that the military uses. Yes, if you want to click on the link below to learn a little bit about the active denial system, but it is uh, according to our military. Uh, website, Non-Lethal Weapons Program, U.S. Department of Defense. The active denial system is needed because it's the first non-lethal directed energy counter personnel system with an extended range. They use it for crowd control, crowd dispersal, convoy and patrol protection, checkpoint security, perimeter security, area denial, and port protection as well as other defensive and offensive operations from both fixed site or mobile platforms. No, we don't need a wall. They could simply use the active denial system along our border and keep everybody out. Okay, well, this 5G millimeter active denial system is being constructed all over the world. And if you think it's just China that's going to be uh, using it for surveillance, for, and yes, the 5G millimeter wave, you're walking down the street, and those millimeter waves, well, somebody's going to be sitting at a computer looking at a screen and see your naked body, 
see what's in that briefcase or pocketbook, see what's in your pockets. If you're carrying a gun, wow, all of a sudden, in real time, all of that information will go to the local police department and boom, you're stopped on the street. Okay, but they can also, when, when the Department of Defense is telling us it's a non-lethal weapon, well, they can also use it for lethal means. Non-lethal weapons can turn into lethal weapons. But crowd dispersal, convoy and patrol protection, checkpoint security, perimeter security, perimeter security, which means that they can use this active denial system, the millimeter waves, to uh, they can put those waves up active for particular areas. They can create a invisible wall, a perimeter, and keep everybody locked in or locked out. Area denial, they can use this active denial 5G system to, well, protect the wealthy neighborhoods. And you try to cross that area, you will, you can't because the burning sensation that it will give you is so intense. You won't cross it. They can use the active denial 5G system to keep you locked in your neighborhood. So it's not just China doing this. It's the United States doing it. And they are, well, they're actively denying you the right to say, I don't want it. But it's going up everywhere. 5G. Millimeter wave. Military. Military. The military frequencies. It is going to be your invisible prison. My God. Well, I guess we just can't get people to uh, wake up to anything that's coming. But thank you for the subscriber to my subscriber for sending this along. Google wants sensors and cameras in every room of your home to watch, analyze you. Yeah. 1984 on steroids. This is where we are headed. You will not be able to escape this world at all, and you will be a slave in it. So I'll link below to everything, but yeah, a lot is going on, and I... <laughs> I do think that now is the time that you put some energy, time to um, get yourself. Are you kidding me? Please don't tell me. Wow. Holy shit. My highlighting came off. All of it came off. My God. What? Ooh. Okay. There's some. There's... Whatever the hell is going on, I am so sick of problems with my computer, okay? So sick of it because it really is unbelievably frustrating. You never get to do what it is that you just want to do. And um, it's everything I'm using. Every program or programs just simply die and I can't get them working, can't even get them uninstalled. I, I The highlighting, it comes, it goes. Uh, Jesus. Listen, um, I'm going to end this video here. And then I'm going to try to get the highlighting correct because there were so many videos. There, I mean, comments, comments. 379 comments, and I've been on this page for a while. I did not, what, it, what the hell is this now? What pages unresponsive? Pages unresponsive. Great. Well, I'll do 
another video just going through the comments because <laughs> I can't believe my friggin what the hell is going on here what is going on I'm so guys you have to understand I've dealt with so many computer problems and I've spent money and other people have spent money on trying to fix my computer doing this doing that you know um, I had a subscriber send me a computer and two days ago you have to understand I have no energy I have like and doing new things it's like uh, my brain is just fried um, anything new trying to process new information it's like okay something is wrong here with this brain uh, but even doing new things and you know it's like everything is a fight everything's a struggle okay but I had to get because my editing programs now stopped working so I thought alright hook up the other computer and get those going well yeah it took a long time things that I used to do that didn't take any time or thought I just did them you don't even like it's not even a question you just do it right well now everything is like you have to think about what you're doing you forget what you're doing oh yeah 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 alright so I finally get that computer up okay and I go to download my editing programs that were on this computer I can't download now they won't let me download because I didn't know power director uh, you only have a year to download like if you have a, a different computer and you want to put what you've purchased on your computer they only give you a year to do it and if it's over a year forget about it what you have to buy it again snag it my capture program that I'm using right now couldn't download that so I switched back to this computer I, because all of my research and uh, bookmarks and downloads and everything is on this computer and then switching over to another computer it's just oh god a massive pain but then I thought alright I had that links I think it's links where you can hook up the modem into the links you know box with the ethernet cable and then you're able to hook up two or more computers by putting in ethernet cables into that links that didn't work nothing is working it's so unbelievably frustrating alright so I'm gonna have to work on this but come over here read the comments I will link below um, there's a whole lot of people who really want to uh, seek the like-minded please please come to my area San Diego California I'll just read a couple of them uh, Southwest Minnesota um, suburb of Chicago Streamwood Illinois but what is happening I don't know if it's happening on yours but what's happening on mine is suddenly I come across comments and I know the subscriber and I know that they don't live there so things are getting messed up comments are kind of going into uh, or under a user or a subscriber that I know that shouldn't be there Lebanon County Pennsylvania uh, Greenback Blunt County Tennessee in Arizona Callum Clem, Hem, uh, Clemen, I don't know, County Port Angeles, Washington, Richland County, Wisconsin, Ontario, Canada is a bad, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> All of Canada, you get pummeled with extremely low frequencies. LaSalle County, County, Livingston County, Illinois, uh, 140 miles southwest of Chicago. Um, yeah, the net will crash and isolate everyone. I think that that is absolutely um, a high uh, probability that that will happen so now you need to work on you know hooking up with people in your area um, Arizona Pinal County I'm not probably not pronouncing pronouncing it right Northwest Indiana um, 
Tacoma, Washington, Pierce County, Phoenix, Arizona, Dallas, Fort Worth area, Texas, Los Angeles, Marembu, Southwest France, sure I screwed that up, Kings County, Seattle, Washington. Um, there are subscribers from Scotland, France, and um, Germany. Hey, Slovig. Yeah, all right, so let me get off now. Um, check, check underneath uh, because I'm telling you, if you're waiting for any notifications, you may wait forever and not get them. But unfortunately, because I know, because I did that little experiment with a subscriber who lived in a different part of the country, they sitting at their computer. I think I was Skyping with this person. I can't remember. But I said, all right, I'm going to send you this link, and you go to this link, uh, to this page, and I want to see if what you see is what I see, and it wasn't. So people are seeing on their screen something different on the exact same page you know that others well you may not see comments that i see and the same holds true you may see comments that i don't see that is what we are living now and yeah i do believe it is deliberate to make sure that everything is a mess when we're trying to hook up and organize.